Hello everyone, my name is Mohammed, and today I'll be presenting to you our project OQCamp on behalf on, of our full team. So our project is made of three components. The first one is uh, occupancy monitoring. So just basically occupying how many people enters and exit each lab. This information uh, will be displayed on a website, which we have developed ourselves. Uh, that would have a map with uh, uh, live uh, monitoring. And the final thing that we've worked on is uh, allocating researchers, uh, which was done using Python to maximize the building occupancy. And we will go, uh, I'll show you a video now that will go into more details about them. And then I will explain to you uh, the hardware and other part in more detail. OkiCamp is a project run by PhD students at the University of Cambridge looking to monitor room occupancy to help university departments manage social distancing. The focus of our project is to create a sensor system which can anonymously count the number of researchers in each lab in the Department of Chemical Engineering and Biotechnology. This will help individuals plan their movement throughout the department and maintain social distancing. Our plan is to use low cost and low resolution sensors at each lab door to monitor researchers entering and exiting the labs with our initial testing showing that the system is accurate at determining the direction of movement. To display the information in an accessible manner, the team decided to develop a web page that is accessed securely to view each room occupancy. The web page gives two viewing options. First, an interactive map of the department with the occupancy level in each room. And second, colorblind friendly list showing the number of occupants in each lab. To assist with the reopening of the department, our team came up with an algorithm which assigns researchers to available labs. This takes into account the maximum occupancy of the individual labs and the building as a whole, as well as taking into account personal circumstances of the individual researchers. This algorithm was successfully used for the first four weeks of reopening and was able to assign everyone who wanted to return to work a lab to do so. We hope that this project can provide a less invasive and low cost alternative to currently available room occupancy monitoring systems. I hope you found that useful, that video useful. So let's go more into, into more details about the hardware. Uh, so uh, the hardware uses a sensor, a thermal sensor, and this, this thermal sensor can detect the movement by detecting uh, the heat. Uh, so as, as members of the labs move through the door, it detects this movement and correlates it to uh, occupancy. This data then is analyzed using the Arduino. So Arduino records the data and send it into Raspberry Pi. The Raspberry Pi analyzes all the data and then send the, the encrypted data into the web server where the data can be viewed on the live map. So the sensor uh, takes a lot of energy and to minimize the uh, energy, we use the magnetic, magnetic door sensor. So basically the sensor is only turned on when the door is open and this also can be used to reduce the error. So to make our system practical, uh, we made sure it address all these requirements so first, privacy, as I said, uh, it's anonymous, uh, it's passive, so no, you don't need to have any uh, badge or, or phone with, with you. It's robust, so and it views uh, the data live. It's low cost, it's easy to install, and it's battery powered, so it's, it, it doesn't need uh, extra installations. This is what our sensor looks like, the box on the right. And to show you the... So to show you how the system works, you can see uh, on the right, this is the live map that we have developed from scratch. When the researcher entered the room, you see that the uh, room has changed color, which means the occupancy increased. And when he left the room, the occupancy changed uh, live and the number is green. And this map was developed using Node.js, MySQL, Express, and JavaScript. And we have shown that uh, the system is 70% uh, accurate. 
So uh, throughout the project, we made sure that we think about responsible research and innovation, which is basically just thinking how uh, technology can be used positively and negatively to impact the society. And we make sure that our system can be only used positively. Um, and based on that, we have a few recommendations for anyone who will be using our system. So our data, uh, I'm sorry, the historical data can be only viewed by certain members. Uh, the system is only accessed using Raven and live map is disabled when the occupancy is less than, th than 10 to reduce uh, the potential to identify the individuals. This is basically our project and this is our team and I want to thank them for all their hard work and thank you for listening.